بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی اے شارٹ ویڈیو اباؤٹ دا ڈفرینسز بٹوین ٹینس اینڈ ای ایم ایس دس از دا کوشچن دیٹ اے لاٹ آف ینگ فزیکل تھراپسٹ آر لوکنگ فار اینڈ آئی جسٹ وانٹیڈ ٹو شیئر دا ڈفرینسز دیٹ آئی کیم اکراس وائل سرچنگ فار دا لٹریچر سو ہیئر وی کین سی دیٹ دیر آر سم ڈفرینسز بٹوین ٹینس اینڈ ای ایم ایس اف وی لک اباؤٹ دا کلاسیفکیشن دا ٹینس کین ہیو further classifications like normal tens or burst tens, modulating tens, low frequency, high intensity tens, high frequency and low in- intensity tens and acupuncture tens or acupuncture like tens. But on the EMS we have no classifications. Tens is used for pain relief while the EMS is used for muscle stimulation. Tens works by blocking the pain gates. You can also see the pain gate theory for description. and It can also release opioids, especially when you are using acup- acupuncture like tens. On the EMS side, we see that it works by depolarizing the motor units. The tens, it targets, uh, the target is based on the chronicity of the condition. Like you can have acute, subacute and chronic pain, for that you can apply different types of tens. But in the EMS, the target is based on function. that is to achieve the titanic contraction that is similar to normal or the natural contraction sometime it is near normal contraction the tens is usually applied to all muscles or any muscle at all while the ems is helpful in only the innervator muscles so this is very important to understand that you can apply the ems in innervated muscles the tens can have waveforms intensity frequency and pulse pulse width these parameters can be changed according to the patient's condition while the ems also has the same parameters and you can change these as per the patient's condition or the desired effect that you want to produce the tens does not delay the muscle atrophy while the ems can delay or prevent the muscle atrophy the tens it selectively stimulates the large diameter fibers for example alpha fibers a fibers and beta fibers and a and delta fibers so a fibers beta fibers and a fibers plus delta fibers so large diameter fibers most commonly and sometime the small diameter fibers can also be stimulated with the help of tens and that is why it is called as selective stimulation while on the ems side we see that there is non selective random disorderly specially fixed and temporally summated stimulation it means that it cannot st- selectively select any t- fiber types so it it affects all the fiber types uh, the nerve and the muscles it can affect uh, randomly onto the muscle and the nerve disorderly there is uh, no application of Hinnemann's size principle you can refer to the Hinnemann's size principle and you can also see what it means and it is specially fixed that uh, the number of pulses are specially fixed and they are coming from like different directions and temporally summated so all the pulses that uh, are applied at different intervals of time they get summated and hence you get a titanic contraction so i hope you find this video useful if you like this video do comment and share thank you very much